police officer in my city court saying deceased 26-year-old woman had limited value. A cop in my city recently hit and killed a pedestrian as the cop was speeding to respond to an emergency. The woman was crossing the street and had the right of way, cop was going 75 in a 25 and struck and killed her. Daniel Audra, another Seattle cop, was caught on body cam laughing about her death, saying, she was 26 anyway, she had limited value. Limited value. How absolutely nauseating that they can even speak of a dead woman in that way. Text in 20 the 20 body 20 camera 20 footage, 22 she 20 had 20 limited 20 value. 22 text in 20 the 20 body 20 camera 20 footage, 22 she 20 had 20 limited 20 value. 22. Absolutely disgusting. People like this who clearly don't experience empathy have no business being in this line of work. I'm appalled. Fuck the SPD. They have such a long history of shit like this and their police union protects them every time. Editing to add that the last time I called 911 here in Seattle, the dispatcher straight up told me they wouldn't send help because the victim was homeless. That's how they operate. The argument I received was basically these homeless women are out there by choice and just asking for it anyway, so it's not worth our time. While a woman was literally running down the street screaming that the man chasing her was going to kill her. Janavi Kandula, a 23-year-old Northeast University student, arrived in Seattle from Bengaluru, India, in 2021. She was pursuing a Master of Science in Information Systems at the College of Engineering and was set to graduate this December. She deserves to be remembered as a person and not just a victim of a POS cop. I usually get downvoted when I point out that cops dehumanize the public. Maybe not this time. Cops think there are three categories of people. Cops, who they think are the warrior good guys, immune from any consequences. Criminals potential criminals, who always deserve whatever punishment cops want to mete out. Expendables, who are everyone not listed above. There's no reforming that system. When men say things like this, it's a message of how they really feel. It's horrifying but I can't let myself forget it. I remember all of it. I'm always wary. I hate living in this world. Ah yes. The Waystar Royco NRPI ranking no real people involved. I work as a paramedic. And while we also exceed the speed limit at times when we're called to an emergency, I wouldn't dream of doing 75 in a fudging 25 zone. On the highway with not much traffic. Sure. In a city? Hell no. Maybe 5 to 10 above the speed limit if traffic and time of day allow it. But I drive the ambulance to get to help people. Not to cause more injuries. As someone who routinely walks around town with my music on, I'm amazed by the story pointing out she was wearing AirPods. So what? Dude was going 74 in a 25 without his emergency signals activated. Even if they were, he must honor the intersection. You can't just barrel through. You must respect all traffic already in control of the intersection. He was the vice president of the Seattle Police Union and he was speaking to the president of the Seattle Police Union. These are the people the cops elected to represent them. There are no good cops because a good person would have stood up against these fascist pigs. The woman's death was months ago, and there were no consequences for the cop who murdered her driving 74 in a 25 on his way to a non-emergency call, without running his siren. Every cop is a corrupt bastard. There needs to be a very serious evaluation of the manosphere and its consequences. We really can't go on with people like Andrew Tate spreading this rhetoric and emboldening men to think this way. We've been trying to tell people that cops are not the good guys. But it's only a few bad ones. Yeah, where are the good ones condemning this? They're all silent. That's all you need to know. Well peak for women is getting lower and lower isn't it? That's not weirdly pedophilic sounding at all. 26 is old now. Geez, I'd love for him to tell his mom or grandmother how much value he thinks they have to their face. I'll be 26 next year. 
Should I plan on killing myself? My life is over anyways apparently. Akub. Wishing the worst to those men yellow heart. Wasn't one of them part of the Seattle Police Union as well? This is how they treat the people they're supposed to protect. The whole thing is despicable. He got her age wrong too and said she was 26, she was 23. Her name was Janavi Kanjula. She was a grad student from India. Arp's title is wrong she was 23, though the pig said that she was 26. She did nothing wrong. Guess being a model minority only goes so far. I've been trying to tell other Indian Americans that cops aren't our friends, that they'd turn on us as easily as they do against others. Maybe now they'll listen. Someone needs to check his hard drive stat. This was two blocks from my apartment, and I happened to see the massive response after it went down. That intersection crosswalk is well marked, but also extremely dangerous even though the limit is 25 miles per hour due to the number of confused drivers pulling out blindly, or looking for parking spots in the bike lanes. And of course the cops think it was the woman's fault. Not only was he the vice president of the police officers guild but he was talking to his boss, the president of the Seattle police officers guild. They both need to resign. How can he mean that? How can anyone say that about a dog much less a human please? I'm not deliberately trying to come across as some ultra-humanitarian honest just well, I am one we all are. Seriously don't understand. OP, I heard the recording and it is so callous, the way he laughs and talks this is way beyond shocking, I am an immigrant who's lived in Seattle for a while and contributed to the commune there. I am beyond incensed at this whole situation. Thanks for sharing. A clapping hand sign C clapping hand sign A clapping hand sign B. My city killed a 12 year old without even getting out of their car. 100 bucks says the piece of shit votes Republican. I wish I hadn't listened to the body cam footage. His voice made my skin crawl and what he said was horrific and terrifying. That poor woman and her family. Money is never a consolation for something like this but I hope they sue the department into oblivion. They clearly don't have empathy or care so money is the only way to make them hurt. What a vile thing to say or think. Policemen are genuinely evil. Every last one of them. And this wasn't even his first time. It's so fucked up that he was saying she is a normal person. I bet if she has been a homeless person it would have gone unreported. If it had been someone I important he would have been shitting his pants. Disgusting. Ordra is the guy's partner, the president of the union, and the one who performed the sobriety test. Janavi Kanjula, 23, Indian, international grad student, supporting a single mother back home. So this POS cop wasn't just laughing that this woman had limited value but this young minority woman had limited value. What value does this POS cop think is contributing to the planet? If a cop says this about a literal innocent bystander he knew nothing about that they murdered, how do you think they treat those who they believe broke a law? Trash human beings. This lady was literally just standing in a corner living her life and this asshole ended it, laughed about it, and they all have zero remorse. Akub. Not a single one of them is decent until every single last one of them is impeccable. The best they get is keeping their heads down while the rest of the cops are actively a danger to everyone around them, and that's bad enough. My city too. I'm just speechless. I do not understand how these insurance companies are still underwriting or insuring these police departments or municipal governments, unless they are self-insured and open to bankrupting their public service budgets. No real person involved vibes from this guy. When did the institutions that are supposed to protect its denizens turn around, and start literally killing and walking away without being held accoutable? This is a deplorable act against someone who just wanted to come here and earn their place. Makes me sick to the stomach. Shame on you America. Did you see his nasty little apology but not really where he literally was like it was lawyer satire. Insul first, pig to top it off.